Hello guys, uh, my name is Ratapoom, or aka Fly Tutor. I am the uh, mechanical designer of Project Nimbus. If there is anything that I can give you in a few words about Project Nimbus will be speed and movement. It has been a key um, of our design from the start, you know, everything else revolves around those two. What does it mean? Speed. Stuff in Project Nimbus happens really fast and the machine has to reflect that. There are a lot of mech games in the market, but most of them is either land-based or you jump around a little bit based on somewhat 3D movement. But Project Nimbus, I think, would be the first truly 3D mech games that are based in the sky. So the machine has to be able to look as if. There's a few things about designing these things. Well, first thing, um, Mr. Pui told me from the start that the mech is going to be able, have to be able to fly, and it has to be plausible. So I took it to on liberty on designing quite a few things. But first, it has to be unique. I mean, of course, everyone's is trying to push the brand of mech, it has to be unique because we don't want to risk lawsuit, I mean, that's obvious, but we also want to establish our own style, you know, something that we can, you can just see it and, and tell, ah, that is Project Nimbus, we really want that. Of course, um, being a real mecha genre, it means it has to be plausible, as in you see it, you sort of know how it will work, and you think it will work, and that's very important for your robot because you, you can come up with anything, but if you find no relation to what the player is used to, it's not going to accomplish. Mirai itself, the main mech, is intentionally designed to look incomplete. Of course, overall, over time, we add a few more things to her, you know, to reflect that she's rushing to um, service. Of course, the color scheme is not very militaristic, not very standard. You, you could say she's, she's a little bit of a snowflake, but that's what we're trying to get at. Um, the Russian mix, for example. Um, is well oiled war machine, so we try to base our design from the real world aircraft and helicopters and even tanks. We take more tips from real Google hardware to notice um, rivets here and there, the uh, FLIR, the FLIR part that's quite prominent on all Russian mechs, to, just to get the message across that it's well designed, well polished. And of course, being Russian in the style, it has to look sleek and it has to look sexy, but in the same time, it has to look functional. Why do I like real robot genre? Well, could, you could say that my first enjoyment of a mech game is, um, of course, I really don't want to pass on the uh, front mission. Yes, that's my first real mech game, and the design is really phenomenal. The kudos to whoever came up with it. Um, I really like the design. Being born in a military base um, and spent most of my time in my youth life, of course, influenced my, uh, my outlook on the machines. I, uh, as much as I like the mech design from the East, I cannot help but admire the functionality of the mechs on the West, and I try to combine the two, so yeah, I, I think that's where my passion came from. 